So, uh, yeah, start uh, start on that side. So, Martin. Um, well, I mean, this is this is classic Rainer Knizia in his pomp, isn't it? I mean, at this time, 2000, he was on this amazing run of just tossing out all of these brilliant games year after year. It was it was an astonishing run, really, when you can consider that ma mass of games he brought out at this time. Um, and this is sort of slap bang in the middle of that. Interesting set of mechanisms, not too complicated a game to learn. You can easily learn it, play it, yeah. and then realize there's way more depth to this. Yep. Oh, and just yeah. keep digging and digging. Oh, the more you play it, the more you're going to realize, yeah. oh, I could do this, or I can manipulate it that way, etc., etc., right? And it fits in lovely with a gaming evening. I mean, the other Knizia's of this era that I have, I take them a lot. I would always take them onto a gaming thing, because, you know, when you play a big game and you've got an hour or so to spare, poof, you yeah. can toss it yeah. around. I mean, the stream was yeah. two hours, but realistically, without a teach, if everybody knows it, you can bust this out in 45 Definitely. minutes to an yeah. hour. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, it is, it is a really sweet game. The only reason I probably wouldn't get it is because it doesn't play with two, and I, I like games that play with two. But if that wasn't a reason, yeah, I'd pick it up. It's, it's just such a... Do you know why you won, Tony asked? No. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. This is always a case of a kid game. I have never I idea how I do uh, it. I how do you know do that? Yes. That's um, funny. Yeah. And, but it, it's, yeah, I mean, like so many of these Knitsu games, I could easily just, just gobble them up because they're just fascinating games. How about you, Shrey? Yeah, the rules complexity is, it's really, it's really straightforward. It's really, it's really low. Right. And, but there's, there's really fine points that, Really, that that make this that take this to the next level, like the, the the mogul, right? The fact that that is available, it reduces mm -hmm. some of the pressure of of uh, you know placing a palace, placing a palace, but it also introduces another way that isn't that it doesn't complicate things add that much more complexity. It's just very straightforward. The uh, you know simple things like oh you know point, uh, your longest suit at the end of the game is worth points. Mm. If they didn't do, if we didn't have something that direct, people would be playing a ton of car like. Right, it'd be very deterministic, but also right. Exactly, last round or two, you just be loading up. Yeah, right? I mean, I feel I fell into the trap. I think of trying to get too many points at the end of the game and not, not using my cards that I sh I should use my. Me too. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. And uh, it, the 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 I have not figured out how to do the the root placement. I I clearly I I, got, I was getting I got a few points over here, but I couldn't get what I needed in the right. Uh, order turn order like you have to think about when you're when you're first and those rounds are your first you you have the opportunity to go out for, go out first and I did not pull that off correctly like I go was, out having already played having card. played one card right. yeah, yeah, yeah. so I, you have the option so in eleven I would have the opportunity to go out first which is why I felt I could you know I could get this one safely so I could connect mm -hmm. but I couldn't figure out how to do how to manage the other positions when I was second or third or fourth. Right. What what do you do? Um, it's uh, it's interesting. In in the first game, I focused on connectivity and came way last. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This time, I just completely ignored connectivity. Well, it's really hard to predict connectivity because yeah. you don't know what position you're going to be in when you get to region ten or nine. I only planned on connectivity in one place and then couldn't do it. I couldn't pull it off. By the time we got there, I didn't have the cards in my hand for it. Um, which was poor planning on my part, kind of, and then just what people took out of what was available that pigeonholed me into not being able to do that. So it's somewhat in your control and somewhat not. And you know I stay away from those things. If I can't <laughs> control getting those points, then I'm not going to go and invest my time in it. So the connectivity, it's nice, but it's a hard battle to win. It is, because then it becomes, okay, I have to win mm. this, well, and then of course I we're going to block you. This, Why right? would I exactly. not block you right. out of the, mm. eight points? You, right, you become <laughs> right? a target. Of course, because I'm going to take that because it's open information. Well, I think yes. the order, the order of the provinces, makes a huge difference here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and that's random. Everything yes. but right. twelve. Right? If, mm. if you if you can form a chain as you go, you're going to get more points. You, you get uh, you, because you got all of this connected the last in the, the, the last round. Right. If you were getting more points as we as we went, it, it, the connectivity pays off better. I think. It, 
Uh, the so maybe that's an evaluation right you because have to it, it, right because I'm not getting three points then five points then six points but we're all going to see one, that two two eight yes right. yeah. so, so we're so all going to see so that so maybe too. this should have been a game where um, we all went for we we spend more time getting elephants and province tiles and well and, and the, you guys got, I was hold on hmm. I was going to bring that up if you look I have one province yeah look at where I finished yeah. Shrey has zero, zero provinces. Look where he finished. And then the two that were competing actually were competitive. Whereas, so I think there's some merit to, okay, provinces, and then what else can you do on top of that, right? That's a good point, but you're, there is one other thing that Martin and I had in common, and that is multiple rounds with the plus two card. Yes. And mm. you should, him getting that again at the end, I knew I couldn't make it. Once he got it again from Shrey, I was out because there was no way I could catch up with, you know, the eight points he was going to score in the last four rounds. But, and what did we end up at, right? So I knew that at least I was close and then I wasn't. Like, I was like, nope, that's done. That and I didn't have yellow. Really nice. So that plus two card's important. I think once you get more used to playing the game in your game group, people know you don't let the same person have plus two twice. Like you mm. keep a, a yellow kind of on side and make sure they're not being able to delve into that readily. Because um, Shrey got it once, but we traded it and he had it twice. And so that those bonus cards are huge because you don't lose them until someone else steals them. So it's also about getting the bonus cards as well and using those properly. Oh yeah, I feel like there's a lot of things that you're you're trying to pull on, right? Mm -hmm. There's the connectivity, there's the provinces, there's the bonus cards. Yeah. I mean, and, and not to mention the placement and where that mogul, the grand mogul is great because yes. it gives you a placement, but it doesn't give you the bonus tiles. Yes. Also, so it's, yeah, they, there's a lot of hidden levels, I feel like, in right. this game that the more you play it, the more you're going to see and the more strategy involved in it. Well, that's what I really like about it. The development in this seems really, really good, especially in a Kinesia game, because you're seeing like how things overlap and play on each other. Getting those bonus cards, me being able to get these for points at the end, which I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting anything in my hand, but lining that up that I always had one of something. So at least if I got that second one, something was coming into my hand. Not having these was hard, but yeah, so there's a lot of interplay between the things you're going to do, whether you're picking up those bonus tiles that maybe aren't in the best places, because I noticed these cities a lot of them are off to the side. Maybe not great for connectivity, but now they're helping you with that scoring, which really helped Martin Boy, um, did it. Yeah. when it did with when it tied in with his provinces. So that boost would have been great for me too. But at that point, I was going for connectivity. So there's always something to kind of latch onto, depending on what other players are doing, and nobody can do everything. So you can't, you know, the, you can't do all the things. If you look at the number of palaces that Martin has out here. He didn't go for connectivity. He didn't go for those placements. But he made sure he had his bonus cards or lucked into his bonus cards, whichever one it was, when he needed them, and then had the provinces to score really high as they came out that overlapped. Mm -hmm. So, And then even passing is huge because you mm -hmm. get three cards. And if you're grabbing the pick of the litter out there and then one off the top, that's great, and as Shrey pointed out, you're picking from that pile first, so now you have even more information, information about your draw. hand yeah. and what you want to grab in, yep. um, and that's always a tough decision. What am I taking? Do I go for all orange? No, wait, I need this other one too. I should get some purple. And it's oh, not no. just the color, but it's also the symbols on yes. it, right? Like, I really need that grand mogul for whatever. Planning right, on do I want the princess right. back? I need to get those, but they're right. in two different colors, so that doesn't help me. Right. Yeah, so it's it's very... It's tough decision making that you don't realize. And I hadn't played through completely. We played two player and I played around. So that all came to me in the first round. I was like, I don't, what? Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Anything else? There you go. So um, somebody did point out that uh, the newer Z-Man version is available and it does have a two player variant. So mm -hmm. keep that in mind. How well does it do though? I, I, some of those I, 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 bolted two I players. I cannot so it's speak a, to that, yeah. so keep that in mind. Uh, so there you go. That is uh, that is Taj Mahal by Renner Canizia. So check it out. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. If so, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Um, and also, uh, like chat said, it is easily available. So if this looks like a good game for you and your group, check it out. 
Also, you can support the show over on PledgeHC.com. Other than that, uh, I was going to stream something on Saturday, but unfortunately for y'all, fortunately for us, Mark Herman's in the area. So we're going to go play Churchill with him, and that kind of trumps a work day. So that's, <laughs> so that's we're, we're, we're going to play games with Mark Herman. So, uh, yeah, forgive me, but, uh, yeah, we'll be back on Monday with the uh, Weekly Look Ahead. Um, the podcast comes out next week. We got two streams planned, and then we're off to Grand Con next weekend. So that said, uh, thanks everybody here. Thanks everybody at home for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed it, and we'll see you all on Monday. I'm Edward. I'm Jess. I'm Shrey. And I'm Martin. All right, y'all have a good night. We'll catch y'all later. Take care, everybody. Bye.